All right, so I'll show you how you can fix plagiarism in your paper using Turnitin. All right, so I'm here in the Turnitin website. So if you don't uh, have an account, you can buy an account. For me, I have one already. So I'm going to just log in. Okay. So when I log in, this is a student account. Okay, so I'm going to click on the subject and load in. Okay, so as you can see, it will bring me here. If you look here, you will see uh, all these blues. Okay, all these have been used before, but we can reuse again. Any of these can be reused. I'm going to choose number 50 to upload my paper, then I'll click on OK. Okay, so I'll just put the paper title, just anything and then choose from computer okay so i'm going to choose any paper from here okay then i'm going to upload okay so it's uploading we just need to wait for it to uh, upload just some few minutes Okay, so confirm. So just a few seconds, it will confirm. Then we have to wait for about 30 seconds to one minute, and then the plagiarism will be checked. Okay, so what we are going to use, a second app we'll be using is our killbot. So we are going to use Killboard to uh, to paraphrase, okay? So it's still loading. We need to wait. So here in Killboard, I have a premium account. If you check here, I can ask my email over here. Okay. So if you don't have an account, you can buy one from us. We give it for a very cheap price. Uh, you can buy subscribe to turn it in and then subscribe to killboard okay you can have the two software for about 1500 one year subscription okay so i'm back to turn it in again so i'll click on return to list assignment list okay so now i need to wait for about one minute and then it's going to check okay so while it's checking let me go over to go over to Killboard. So uh, in using Killboard, okay, uh, it's a tool which is used to paraphrase to reduce plagiarism. So if you check up here, you can see standard, fluency, formal, simple, creative, expand, shorten. Okay, so. Uh, depending on what you are trying to do, you can use any of these, okay, to make your work look better. Okay, so usually the what I am most used for academic work is either a standard, uh, creative, or formal. That is what I usually use. And then for non-academic work, I like to use fluency, simple, or expand like that okay i'll go back to killboard and uh turn it in let's see if it's done or not okay so if you check here number 50 you can see that it's still processing okay so let's refresh the page to see if it's done or not okay while it's refreshing let's go back to killboard okay so uh you can paste your text here uh, let me see if I can get a sample text that I can easily put in there. 
For example, we want to use this text here. Okay, so I'll go back and then uh, I'm going to paste. Okay, so I'm going to click on standard. And then when I click on standard, uh, it's going to paraphrase. Okay. So when it's done paraphrasing, uh, we have the legend or the key here. The orange means changed words. Okay, then the yellow lines means structural changes. And then the blue means longest unchanged words. Okay, so we can see this. It begins with today's computer revolution has impacted nearly every aspect of life okay so paraphrasing the computer revolution of today has had an impact on practically every facet of existence okay so it's nicely paraphrased so here i use standard now let's use creative let's see how it will be like creative so it's paraphrasing okay so for creative it's it's like this there are many ways in which today's computer revolution has affected our daily lives, which also sounds good. Okay, so uh, the whole thing here will be paraphrased, but you have to make sure that you read through this, okay, to make sure that uh, everything here is well represented in a paraphrase before you use. Okay, let's go back to turn it in. It's still not done, it's still processing. So I'm going to refresh the page again. Okay. So we have to check and make sure that uh, it's well done. Okay. To reduce more uh, plagiarism. Okay. All the blue ones, they are words and phrases which have not been changed. So we can choose some synonyms. Okay. So instead of today's computer revolution, we can say computer age. Okay, to make it look more unique than before. Okay, then uh, over here, the halves, what could it be? Rich and powerful. Okay, we'll just leave it like that. And then we have electronic text has, let's see. Okay, we can say digital text instead of electronic. Okay, then we have a uh, definition of literacy. Okay, so will you define, uh, definition defined, okay, which is okay, then we move on. So all the blues means those words are not changed yet. So we have to do, uh, we, got, we can choose some synonyms to make some more changes so that our Paraphrasing will look completely differently. Now let me go back to turn it in. Let's check. Okay. So if we look here, we can see that uh, the plagiarism is 83%. So let's click on view. Okay. So if we click on view, uh, as we can see, okay, as we can see here, uh, all the red areas means plagiarized. Okay, if it's uh, purple, it means uh, English prob problem. Okay, so red is plagiarized, purple means grammar or English issue. Okay, there are areas, if you see the purple and the red together, it means plagiarized and grammar problem at the same time. Okay, so all these, uh, you can see, they are all plagiarized. Okay, so uh, still loading. So what to do is this. Uh, the report from Turnitin is like a mirror or uh, it provides you with an idea about how uh, the entire paper is so far as plagiarism is concerned. Okay, so you need to go to the original work. Okay, for example, over here, 
let's begin from the introduction. So if you are going to begin from the introduction, uh, we need to go to the paper over here. Okay? So all the introduction over here, everything is plagiarized. Right? So we need to copy the whole thing there. And then we need to take it to uh, to our turn it in. Okay, we delete what we have here, and then we paste it. After it's pasted, then we have to uh, paraphrase. Okay, so we paraphrase it, and then it changes it. Okay, after that we need to upload it again into uh, the turn it in to see the level of. Uh, reduction in the plagiarism now let me show you something in the report okay so over here uh, if you see this funnel if I click on the funnel okay it's going to show us uh, this we have end code with bibliography okay so we are going to exclude uh, the quotations and then the bibliography okay and see if the plagiarism will be reduced or not okay let's see okay so from 83 to 56 usually journals do not include the the bibliography as part of the the plagiarism when checking okay so uh, the actual plagiarism is uh 856 percent so our goal is to reduce the 56% to about 15%. So like I showed you, uh, you just have to look at the areas, okay? And then find it in your paper, copy it, and then take it to uh, the, uh, the paraphrasing tool, which is Killbot. And then when that is done, okay? Killbot will paraphrase it for you, then you copy it back into your in your paper in Microsoft Word. So when that is done, okay, you finally need to, uh, you finally need to uh, take your paper, okay, uh, and then upload it to turn it in again to see if the problem is fixed or it's not fixed. Okay, so in that case, you will be able to know, okay, the the problem, uh, uh, know whether the problem is reduced or, or it's not reduced. Okay, so basically that is one of the simple ways uh, you can fix plagiarism issues uh, in your paper. Okay, so uh, if you have any further questions, you can comment on the, on the video and then I will respond to that. Okay, so until then, I will say thank you for watching.